Hello, and welcome to One Big Happy Story Time. I am Morgan from the Lake Jackson branch. And I'm Miss Kat from the Danbury branch. And those are two branches of the Brazoria County Library System because we are one big happy system. So before we start with our story and our songs, we have to learn how to say our theme with our hands. So can we put up one hand and take the other one with a two? And we're going to go up and down because this is kind of like reading, right? And we're going to read a book. So that's what we're going to tell a story about today. But before we can do that, I would like to say hello. How would you like to say hello? Hmm. I would like to say hello seriously and silly. Silly and serious. Okay. And I would like to say hello, high and low. Mm. And then always nice. So we are going to tap our legs and clap our hands. Tap and tap. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as silly as we can. Hello! <laughs> that was great. <laughs> okay, and now it's serious. Okay. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as serious as we can. Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, and now hi. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as high as we can. Hello! <laughs> and now low. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as low as we can. Hello. <laughs> and then always nice. <laughs> oh, it's have to be nice. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as nice as we can. Hello. And welcome to Read a Book Story Time. First, I think to start off, we should practice reading a book. What does it mean to read a book? So I have a song. It is set to the tune of Row, Row, Row Your Boat. Read, read, read a book. Travel anywhere. Worldwide, you decide a book will take you there. Read, read, read a book beginning to the end. What a way to spend the day. A book's a special friend. Okay, now that we have learned all this stuff about what a book can do for us, I have a story that's based off of the book If You Give a Mouse a Cookie, but this one's a little different. It's If You Read a Kid a Bedtime Story. And I think it's going to take us some interesting places. So... If you read a kid a bedtime story, they're going to want to look at the pictures, right? Yeah, my kid does. But if they look at the pictures, they're going to have to get out of bed, right? Yeah. Right? And if they're out of bed, they might as well just go ahead and sit in your lap. But once they're in your lap, what do you think is going to happen? They're going to want you to do voices. They are going to want you to do voices. Silly voices silly to voices. all the characters, right? Yeah. But if you go ahead and do silly voices, they're going to want you to act it out oh. and be dramatic. But why stop there? If you act it out when you're reading a kid a book, you're going to have to use props, oh. right? Yes. And the story is all dramatic <gasps> with props. <gasps> But what happens when you use props? You've made a mess. Mm. You've made a mess. Mm. And now we have to clean it up. Right? Mm -hmm. Clean it up. And that can be exhausting. Oh. I am exhausted from cleaning up the props from reading a story to a kid. Mm. Yeah? So that means it's time for bed. But before yeah. we can go to bed, we have to read a bedtime story. But if we're reading a kid a bedtime story, what happens? It's going to start all over. It's going to start all over. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my story. I think it's a really cute story. It's inspired by real life. Yep. Yeah. And I think some of my favorite stories to read as bedtime stories, I think some of them are about pigs. Oh. What about you? I think some of my favorite bedtime stories are about Penguins. Penguins. Ah, penguins. Hmm. Yeah. 
Well, I have the pirate hook because I like reading about pirates. Oh, and I <laughs> like reading about dinosaurs. Dinosaurs, dinosaurs are uh. hugely popular in my house too. I like reading about colors, mm. if you can't tell. Colors I are love fun. colors. Those are some of the best books. And I like reading stories. Hmm. Fairy tales with kings. <gasps> with kings and princes. And princes. And princes. What about what about bugs? <gasps> oh yeah. There's some really cool books about bugs. Mm -hmm. It seems like there's a lot of cool books. What kind of books? How many do you think we had here? Let's see. Let's see. One. Mm -hmm. Two. two <gasps> three. three Four, five, six, seven. That's seven different types of books we like to read, and they can all be read as bedtime stories. Some very good books. But I think that is the end of our story time here. Aww. Right? So I think we're going to go ahead and say goodbye and tickle the clouds. Okay. Tickle the clouds, tickle your toes, turn around, and tickle your nose. Reach down low, reach up high, story time's over, wave goodbye. Thank you so much for joining us for Read a Book Storytime, and we hope to see you next month for the One Big Happy Storytime.